So you have a Google Pixel 5a and you have an issue where you have a black screen. Even though you have a black screen, you know that the phone is still on. Maybe you can get um, hear phone calls coming in. You can hear it ringing. Maybe you can feel it vibrating. So if the phone is on, it's just that you have a black screen. The screen won't come on. Another way to tell if your phone is on is if you go ahead and you give your phone power. And this phone is fixed, by the way, okay? But when you plug it in, I just felt it vibrate. You should be able to hear it vibrate, okay? So I'm gonna give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now. Let's pretend I have a black screen here, all right? First thing you wanna do is try to force restart it. Very simple, how do you force restart? You simply press and hold this power button and do not let go until you see the Google logo appear, okay? So we'll do it together. So let's pretend that this screen is totally black here. We're gonna press and hold this uh, power button, ready? One, two, three, press and hold. Do not let go, keep on holding. Don't worry about what's happening to the screen. Let's pretend this screen is totally black. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just holding onto this power button, waiting for a Google logo to appear, then I can let go. Still holding, still holding here. Oh, Google logo, go ahead and let go. And now hopefully you are up and running. If not, we're gonna to go to the next possible step. Okay, so your screen is still black. Next thing I want you to do is this, okay? I want you to spam the power button and the volume up and down rockers, okay? Spamming by this power button. Just press it in and out, because a lot of times if the power button is stuck or jammed or like loose, it can cause the black screen of death as well. Just keep spamming it. Same thing, the volume up and down rockers too. Do the same thing, volume down, volume up. Okay, now what we're gonna do is plug in the cable, we're gonna let it charge. Pop it in here. I just felt it vibrate, okay? Again, let's pretend my screen is black. I have it charging. Now from here, same thing. We're gonna force restart it simply by pressing and holding this power button. So we'll do it together while it's charging. Ready? One, two, three. Press and hold that power button. Do not let go until we see that Google logo appear. Don't worry about what's happening to my screen. Let's pretend my screen is totally black. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just holding onto this power button, hoping for a Google logo to appear. Still holding. Still holding. Come on, Google logo. There it is. Go ahead and let go. And now, hopefully, you are up and running. If not, we're going to go to the next possible solution. Okay, so your phone is still black. The screen is still not coming on. So the next thing we're going to do here is what I call the tap method. What we're going to do is hold the phone like this, and we're going to use grab two fingers, and we're going to tap all over the screen and all over the back, okay? So we'll go ahead and start on the screen here two fingers and I want you to do is kind of press, kind of tap kind of hard everywhere, okay? Now, simply by you doing this, sometimes what happens is you, you, you basically have something slightly dislodged inside the phone and a simple tap can pop it back in place. Now, sometimes as you're tapping like this, all of a sudden your screen might turn on. Sometimes it'll start like rebooting. Sometimes you get half a screen. Sometimes you get lines, okay? Just keep on tapping. All right, and screen is still black, no problem. Turn it back over, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the back side, okay? Tap kind of hard, two fingers, all over. Even around the lens, okay? You wanna get all in the lens. Try to get all in the corners, too. Kind of keep on tapping everywhere. Look at your phone, okay, it's still black, no problem. Now from here again, remember, press and hold this power button, and do not let go until you see the Google logo appear, okay? Still holding onto the power button. Pretend my phone is black again. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just holding onto this power button, waiting for a Google logo to appear. Still holding? Still holding. Come on, where's it at? Oh, there it is. Go ahead and let go. And now, hopefully you are up and running. If not, we're gonna to go to the next possible solution. Okay, so your screen is still black. Next thing I have for you is what I call the massage method. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna massage the phone. Now what we're gonna do is hold the phone with two hands like this. And this is the same premise as tapping, okay? Maybe you have something slightly dislodged. What I wanna do is, uh, you, what you guys wanna do is hold the phone like this and use your thumbs and you wanna press on the screen, okay? You can use like a, some kind of cloth or paper towel if you don't wanna smudge up your screen or whatnot. But basically, what we're gonna do is hold the phone like this and we're gonna press in. Keep massaging it, kinda of hard, okay? Sometimes you hear a little click and the um, screen will pop on, okay? Or sometimes you're just constantly doing this the screen will pop on. Again, you may get half a screen. You might get white lines or whatnot. Just keep pressing, pressing, press, press. Give it a nice massage all over, even on the very bottom, okay? Screen is still black, no problem. Turn it back over to the back now, okay? And the same thing on the back. We're gonna press in, press in. And sometimes you hear a little click, you know, turn it over and like, oh, wow, it's on. Anyway, keep pressing, pressing, okay? Even around the camera lens, you wanna press around the camera lens. Even on the top here on the corner, press. Press, press. 
all right all the way turn it over okay black screen no problem again from here same thing force restart it press and hold that power button and do not let go until the google logo appears then let go okay now if you guys are still down the next um, possible solution i have for you is what i call the smack method why because we're going to smack the phone i want you to hold your palm out like this and i want you to go ahead and grab the phone and what we're going to do is start on the screen here what we're going to do is we're going to smack it okay look at the phone okay it's still black okay also on the bottom the bottom of the screen okay give it a couple whacks look at the screen okay it's still black no problem now same thing you also want to go ahead and smack the back okay so grab the back also on the bottom back okay look at the phone ah it didn't turn on it's still black no problem force restart it again press and hold that power button and do not let go until you see a google logo appear then let go okay if you guys are still down we're going to go to the next possible solution okay so the next solution i have for you is what i call the freezer method why because what i want you to do is put your your just uh put your phone into the freezer okay so i want you to grab the phone as is just like this i want you to go to your freezer i want you to put it in just like this and leave it there for 15 minutes okay close the, the freezer door leave it there for 15 minutes after 15 minutes or so come back grab your cold phone out of the freezer and then from here press and hold that power button do not let go until you see that google logo appear okay continue to keep holding the power button and just wait patiently until you see that google logo appear all right keep on holding come on where's that google logo there it is go ahead and let go and now hopefully you are up and running now the thing is if you guys went through all these steps and you're still down then what i want you to do is this okay first thing is if you guys have a case on it pry the case off also if you have a screen protector take the screen protector off okay and now i want you to start from the very beginning of the video and try every single step two times doesn't work three times four times try it up to seven times okay sometimes seven the seventh time is a charm believe it or not now if you tried every step at least seven times i'm going to say at least 75 percent of you should now have a working screen and you're not going to need any kind of screen replacement or anything so if this worked for you give me a thumbs up comment which method worked for you and if it didn't work for you give me a thumbs down so everybody can see that we should see at least a 75 percent thumbs up ratio okay good luck guys